And now, World Improv Network proudly presents Community Court. All rise for the Honorable Judge Kenny Vicaro. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for joining me today in this courtroom. Uh, let's begin by, uh, with the plaintiff. Please, uh, introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson, very well. And the defendant's name is? Yeah, uh, my name is Robert Corrigan. All right, then, Mr. Your Honor. Thank you. Yes, uh, Mr. Corrigan, Mr. Johnson, I got some rules in my courtroom uh, to make this uh, dialogue go along civilly or uh, civilizationally or uh, is it, can you, either of you guys know what I mean by that, you know, civilly. I, I think you're trying to say some sort of good discourse. That's exactly what I'm saying. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. So to make things run smoothly, please, you know, cross your T's, dot your I's, and say please and thank you and address me as the honor. Yes, sir, Your Honor. Yeah, uh, yes, sir, Your Honor. T's and I's. Thank you. Very well, then. Uh, uh, plaintiff, uh, Mr. Johnson, uh, you have uh, a complaint directed towards the defendant here, Miss. Miss. Ooh. Uh, it, Please don't scowl at me, sir. Please don't scowl at me. I have low self-esteem, and I just don't need that right now. Well, Your Honor, Mr. Corrigan's that kind of guy. He's going to scowl at you because he's not a good person. Well, and, and what brings you to say this? What makes, why, why do you say he's not a good person? Well, what, what has he done to you? It's clear as day, Your Honor, when he stole all my homing pigeons and tried to sell them on the black market, that was mean. So you are accusing... Uh, that Mr. that, is, that is wholly untrue, Your Honor. That is wholly untrue. What wholly is, untrue. Are you invoking God right now, sir, in my courtroom? Uh, uh, no, no, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. Uh, wholly, uh, as in a a whole whole the whole as an adjective. Entirely. Then? Yes. All encompassing. Yes, Your Honor. Your well, English then, please is use one of those words. He's one of them slick talkers, Your Honor. He's going to try to pull the wool over your eyes. I can tell. Thank you for raising that flag, Mr. Johnson. All right, then. So he tried. He did successfully steal your pigeons. All 147 of them. And do you have any evidence in support of this claim, sir? Yes, I've got DNA evidence, and I got two feathers from them pigeons that were mine. All right, well, I don't know how those two feathers exactly corroborate your story, but the DNA evidence sounds pretty interesting. What Can you please procure this evidence before the court? Yep, let me break it out right here. As you can see, Your Honor, can I, can I approach? Uh, yes. Okay. Looks like you... you Look, here it is right here. I got pictures and DNA strand proof that they were sitting in the back of Mr. Johnson's jean pockets, which were in the back of his pickup truck. Okay, well, uh, may I just point I, I, out... I object, Your Honor. Uh, may I object? Uh, I was talking. Yeah, Your Honor. Keep talking. No, yeah, thank you. Thank you. You are... You are such a gentleman, Mr. Johnson, whereas, uh, gosh, Mr. Corrigan here, you're just being a, a, a rude Ralph right now, and you have been since you entered this courtroom. Well, you're, you are honor, not you're make, not. You are not making a good case for yourself, sir. You're not listening to my side of the story, well, Your maybe Honor. I, maybe I don't want to hear your side of the story. Yeah, it's clear as day who hides jeans with DNA evidence and feathers in the back of their pickup truck unless they're guilty. Now, I, I object to this gene evidence. Yes, well... Taking a look here, uh, Mr. Johnson, you just drew a double helix. That does not count as genetic evidence. Boom. So, Mr. Corrigan, objection sustained. Well, okay, yeah. that's my that's my job. I will I will say whether or not it is sustained. All right, now well, please now, do your job, Your Honor. Let, let's give a turn here now to Mr. Corrigan, since you're so eager to share your side of the story. It, thank thank you, Your Honor. Um, I have been neighbors with Mr. Johnson for. Too long! Yeah. All right, all right. Not too long for both of us, Your Honor. Uh, there's a bit of a blood feud between us, but that's not on trial here. Uh, I have... You shot me with a blowgun! That's where that blood feud started, you little punk! You walked across my yard, well, sir. Well, you should have put all the right, lettuce there. Order, the order, lettuce. order. Sorry, order. Your Honor, sorry. Do you have it, a permit for this, this dark gun, Mr. Corrigan? 
Uh, I do, Your Honor, but I brought neither the dark gun nor the permit with me. All right. Well, I did not think the court would uh, smile upon that. Well, maybe a different day you guys can come in here. Okay. Because, you know, to be honest, you two are pretty cool guys, and I'm just lonely, so it would be nice to have some more company. I'll be okay. more than happy to have coffee with you sometime, Your Honor. Well, you seem like a great guy. Hey, you are the type of person I would make plans with and then cancel, Your Honor. Um, now, back well, to gosh, my story. I don't know what's stopping me from saying you're guilty right here, despite the total lack of evidence. Well, you're not letting me talk about my side of the story <sighs> and how Mr. Johnson's pigeons have been flying over my yard and my roof for the past four and a half years. He got them several months after moving in, and they fly over, and they leave bird droppings That's all nature. over my roof. That's just nature. How dare you desecrate the sanctity of my pigeons? They're just doing what they got to do, and that is they drop their poop when they drop their poop. Okay, okay, Mr. Johnson, no need to yell. All right, this Sorry, is, Your we're Honor. trying to have a civil discourse. Your Honor, Your Honor, Mr. Johnson has a dog that he has house trained. I have repeatedly over the years asked him to house train his pigeons, and he refuses. Is what? there any kind of, could you perhaps, uh, Mr. Johnson, give your pigeons, uh, your birds, a different flight pattern, a different direction to fly so that they don't fly over Mr. Corrigan's backyard and poop all over it? I would, however, his uh, yard borders the local airport, and I don't want my pigeons to get run over by a plane. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to say right now that nobody's guilty or innocent, but you guys just need to, uh, you know, you guys just need to talk. Well, he took to him, your honors, 147 of my prize homing pigeons. They're going We're about to start crying. What? <laughs> You wrote my oh pigeons. my God! Don't he, please don't cry. You see what I have to put up with, Your Honor. Yeah. Well, you know, I made that first call that he was a good guy, and I was taking his side from the get go. But I just feel like an idiot now because you're the much more reasonable person here. You should be in my seat, to be honest. Frankly, I think I would do a much better job than you, Your Honor. No, you're not going to get an argument from me. <laughs> well, uh, I think I'm going to dismiss this case and just uh, order that you two uh, have a cup of coffee and talk it out and not yell at each other and just, you know, be polite. You know, just be reasonable people. But, Your Honor, what about my pigeons? See, that, that's the kind of behavior right there. You know, the, what about me? What about my pigeons? You know, it's it's not just about you. It's about the community. Yes, and the community that your pigeons are no longer ruining since they disappeared. Murderer! Oh, that's a whole other accusation in a different level of court. That's not for the community court. That's probably for a state or federal. Uh, damn, damn good, damn good, and I'm going to get you, Mr. Corgan. Uh, take that, Johnson. I got a blowgun for you if you ever come over in my yard again. All right. Uh, di court is dismissed. Woo! Woo! Oh. So, uh, this is the, uh, courtroom recap. I'm here with Mr. Corrigan, the defendant. Uh, how do you feel about the judge's call there? Well, I, I, I feel great. Um, I was a little nervous when the, when the trial started, because the judge did not seem to like me. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he seemed to have a real tiff with you. Yeah, yes, um. But, frankly, uh, I was glad that Mr. Johnson came across as his normal, abrasive self, mm -hmm. and was able to push the judge away and over to my side. And uh, what plans do you have if uh, his birds don't return? Oh, his birds won't be returning. Huh. Very well. You sound very confident. Yes, I am. And here I am with the plaintiff, uh, Mr. Johnson. Uh, how do you feel about the, the judge's decision to dismiss and just tell you guys to talk it out? First, first off... Oh. I absolutely hate coffee. Here, here, here's a hanky. <laughs> Thank you. I absolutely hate coffee. I can't fathom the fact of having coffee with Mr. Corrigan because I hate it and I hate him. Well, uh, I, I'll be honest, that was largely incomprehensible given the extreme duress you're in right now. Uh, yes, take a take a breather. Here, have it. Here, have a, have some, have a sip of water. You. Oh, easy. Yeah, slow Thank down. you, sir. I'm sorry. I apologize for losing my my temper and my my wits. 
I just want to say I think that's malarkey because A, I would never have coffee with Mr. Corgan because I hate coffee. B, he's a mean person and he killed all my pigeons with that blowgun. I know that's what he did. And, uh. I did. I got away with it. <laughs> wow. Wow. I think we might have another case. Uh, just, you'll have to come visit us next week. Uh, but in the meantime, this has been Community Court. I'm going to get you, Mitch Corbin.